of a movement to revive Dr. King's legacy of a job as a right. In the Post Gazette today, CIA he says that it is an abstraction to protest against uh, global capitalism. Why the hell does he think we're here? Let's be very clear, Mr. President. You are supposed to be so eloquent in your rhetoric, but you have revealed the real Obama today. Yeah. Listen, let's be very clear. Is it an abstraction for millions of jobs to be offshore? Is it an abstraction for there to be 45 million uninsured people in the United States? Is it an abstraction for 45,000 people a year to die because they don't have health care? Yeah. It is no abstraction, Mr. Obama. Amen. And you have offended all of the oppressed in this country. What you are saying is you disrespect the legacy of Dr. King and, and black people and the fight for social justice and the civil rights movement. There you go. There you go. How can the hell can you say that you think it's a, it's a waste of time for mass mobilization? The only time working people get any kind of concessions in this country is when we organize and mobilize in our own names independent of the Democratic Party. Yeah. Let me remind Mr. Obama, black people did not get the right to vote by voting. We got the right to vote by organizing and mobilizing and yeah. demonstrating. Yeah. That's what we want him to do. There you go. There you go. I'm going to wind it up right now. I just want to say one thing. My union has a slogan that's long been associated with the trade union movement. It came from the international workers, otherwise known as the Wobblies, and it goes like this. An injury to one is an injury to all. I want you to help me say it three times. An injury to one is an injury to all. An injury to one is an injury to all. An injury to one is an injury to all. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> the real prayer of Simon. Let's give him another big hand. Amen. Good word. You know, uh, a march in a rally like this would not be complete. <clears throat> Just sent some emails. So a nice little uh, sirens running through. Just left my local uh, little uh, internet cafe. Get greeted by sirens. <laughs> oh, I don't care. Sent some nice little emails about our NSA and the crimes they're up to. James Bamford has written some really good books about what these bastards are doing. They're spying on us. They're listening even in our bedrooms. I knew that. <laughs> he knows that. Maybe one of these days Congress will know that. Um, Spashes don't scare me, that's for damn sure. 